Yes, that, that started in 2013. Um, in July 2013, he was detained, and the, the actual hearing took place in, in December of 2013. And in January of 2014, the magistrate examined the magistrate, ruled that, in her view, that there was there was sufficient basis for the extradition. And then came the appeal. Yes. What what had happened is that he had um, there were there were there were previous applications that were made to the court, um, and those weren't successful. But um, you know, in, our, in doing our research, we, what we, we found is that the law doesn't prevent somebody from applying to the court successfully. Just like, for instance, if somebody applies for bail and is denied bail, that doesn't mean the person have cannot apply for bail at a later point. So the similar principle applies, like you know, he was corpus application, and so. But that's what we did. We, although he was not successful before, as the previous he was focused application, uh, we, we brought this new one, and that was brought in 2017. And in 2017, the new, new application, we, we made these grounds and, and advanced these grounds. And um, that would come to the issues that there, there would have been some, some basis for meriting in those grounds when it was made in 2017. So now that the court has ruled in favor of Mr. Bruce, is this the end of it, or can the U.S. still insist on some sort of extradition? Well, well, in theory, um, I, 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 I suppose they, they can, but um, I'm not sure. Of course, that would be a question best answered by them. Uh, but certainly, in theory, that, that, that's a possibility. 